Labour dumps FG's fresh 60,000 Naira wage offer shifts to 494,000 Naira. Federal Government High of Federal High Court to Kano State High Court grant conflicting orders on Kano Emery Tasso, escalating tensions and uncertainty. Senate pardons recall suspended Senator Abdul Ningi. Now let's take headlines from outside Nigeria. Tonight, Togo's president, Foya Singbe, set to switch job to become president of the Council of Ministers in a bid to remain in power. South Africa to vote in highly contested polls in less than 24 hours. Well, tonight on Politics HQ, Nigeria's federal government is suing the country's 36 states over what it calls full financial or full autonomy for the local government. So we get to understand the word full as we go on. Now, is Nigeria's Supreme Court the right channel to that is where the government is taking these state governments to? Or should the federal government has used, have used the legislative alternative? We'll talk about this and unpack all of this tonight right here on Politics HQ. My name is Kofi Bartels. You're welcome. You're welcome. Nigeria's federal government uh, is suing the country's 36 states over what it calls full financial autonomy uh, or full autonomy of the local governments in Nigeria, uh, because it's not just financial, but also governance as well. Now, while Nigeria has 36 federating states, the country has uh, 774 local government areas, each with its own elected executive and legislature, each governed by a local government council, the local government being the third tier of government below the federal and state governments in that order. Now, local government autonomy in Nigeria refers simply to the ability of local governments to exercise their powers and functions without undue interference from the state or federal government. Well, the current state of local government autonomy in Nigeria is a subject of huge debate. You know, some have been arguing that it is still limited by the control of state governments over local government finances and the appointment of local government officials. Now, Sections 8, 7, and 8 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 1999 as amended, uh, which established the current federal system of government, grants local government uh, 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 councils or areas uh, a measure of autonomy. It also recognizes them uh, as the third tier of government, so it's a constitutional establishment. However, the extent of this autonomy is uh, to which it is exercised in practice is a matter of debate and controversy. Now, the bill to amend the Nigerian constitution to grant local governments a financial and um, a governance autonomy, well, financial autonomy first, uh, by abolishing the state joint local government account and providing for a special account into which all um, allocations due local government councils in the federation and also internally generated revenue uh, from the state government shall be paid into, that's the first one. And also, to establish local government councils as a substantive tier of the government in the institution and guarantee, constitution and guarantee the democratic existence. Now, also, that did not scale through. It was one of the 44 constitutional amendment bills. The first I said is financial autonomy and uh, entrenching a governance structure to ensure that they are democratically elected structures in Nigeria. It was one of the 44 bills that was sent to the state houses of assembly in Nigeria, and um, it was one of the nine bills that could not get the needed simple majority of votes required in at least two-thirds of the state houses of assembly. So in other words, that bill to grant local government areas in Nigeria full autonomy um, was rejected by state houses of assembly uh, in Nigeria. Um, that would have amended the constitution to ensure increase autonomy for local government councils in Nigeria. Now, for now, the funds that are meant for local governments in the Federation account are still being paid monthly to them through their respective state governments. And the Office of the Attorney General of Federation and Minister of Justice has instituted a suit at the Supreme Court to change this uh, by seeking an order to better guarantee uh, the independence of local governments in Nigeria. We'll talk to our guests right now, but we're asking, is the Supreme Court the right channel? Should the federal government have gone back to 
the legislature. We have a guest tonight, a start in no particular order, Olufemi uh, Moshaku uh, Johnson. Uh, Olufemi Johnson is the uh, founding registrar and chief executive officer of the Association uh, for Corporate Governance, or of Corporate Governance Professionals of Nigeria. He's chairman of Hero Advisory uh, Group. Uh, we're glad to have him with us. Uh, Tope Temokum is a legal practitioner. He joins us from Mondo State. Uh, we also have Wale Adedayo, a former chairman of Ijebui's local government area in Ogun State. And finally, Habib Aruna, who is the chief press secretary uh, to the former governor of Lego State, Akiomi Ambode. He's the publisher of The Pledge, an online uh, newspaper. Gentlemen, you're the ones we have having a series. I have to start with you. Yes, very well. It's, um, it's good to have you on the program tonight. Thank you so much. All right. Um, I want to start with you, sir. You're an expert in, in local government administration in Nigeria. Very well. Um, why or how did we get to this point where um, we all agree that local governments in Nigeria are not fully autonomous despite the provisions of the Nigerian constitution? Has this always been the case, looking at the subs um, su successive republics, or is this a new development? Well, I don't think there is the need to go to the route of uh, Supreme Court. Uh, also, even legislative means, because there is already a provision, so Section 162 of the uh, Council of Nigeria actually have given autonomy to local government. And it cannot be reiterated to uh, much that you can't have a uh, have pregnancy. It is either you are pregnant or you are not. If you don't want to have a uh, democracy, there is no problem. As a matter of fact, a number of them that benefited more from democracy in Nigeria, they have started to tell us that uh, we should discard it. How? Well, I don't know why they are saying that. Is that is, are they saying it directly? Up, up till this morning, Democracy is the best form of government anywhere. And now you now discover that people that benefited from it, they are now coming with all kinds of things now. Now look at it. The, the Attorney General went to the, to, to the Supreme Court. He knew that if he was to go to the uh, legislative uh, uh, palace, he knew that we are not going to get any results. And that's why he has to do that. And as a matter of fact, every right-thinking Nigeria knows that you have three arms. And one arm has never functioned, despite the, the fact that 1976 reform clearly states that the third tier of government should function on its own. We have another reform in 1988 because of this problem. We, have, we had another reform in 1991. And you can see Atongera had to go to court. 27 uh, uh, counts of uh, issues it took, it took to the Supreme Court. That all these 27, including the fact that you don't even have local government uh, chairman, you don't have uh, councillors in place, and you are collecting their money. So how are you spending the so, money? So this is, is not a new issue. It's always been it's, there. It's not. It, it's been there. Mm. That's why we had three reforms. And yet those three reforms could not uh, obliterate the problem. Why? I'm surprised. Why couldn't they work? I mean, we had those reforms. Up to now, we've not been able to solve the problem. But this problem, we know that with, uh, with uh, civil society, everybody coming together, this problem must be solved once and for all. Habi Varuna, legislative route or the judicial route, which you favor? It will be difficult for the legislature to be the final destination of resolving this matter. When the Attorney uh, General went, went to court, mm. when the report came out on Sunday, mm. I was one of the happiest men. I was very, very happy. Because you see, there's no way you can have good governance at the local level. There's no autonomy. You cannot have good governance when the governors control them as if they are just errand boys. Just based on three reforms now, these politicians will not make it work. 
the governors in their middle states, they act like emperors. Hmm. So they cannot allow the, 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 the assemblies, hmm. and even the, by extension the National Assembly, to do something about this positively. They will control it, because they want these guys to be their rambles at the local level. Hmm. So when the time of election comes, oh yeah, do this, do this, do, this, do that. But with this move by the federal government, I'm very, very happy about it. Let the Supreme Court make a pronouncement. If the Supreme Court make, make, make a pronouncement, if anybody is, now, is not happy with it at the local level, you go to court. And, if, and that will be a precedent that you cannot just push me around. For example, the, the governor will just wake up on, on the wrong side of the bed and dissolve the councils and appoint a committee. How? It's too much. Well, and nobody can challenge that. So, so, if so, if so, we, we, we have, we have mm. a procedure yes. for amending the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yes. That procedure does not include the Supreme Court. So what exactly will be, or how exactly will this Supreme Court ruling be enforced if the Constitution does not guarantee what the Supreme Court is saying? We, we, yes, Supreme, I, let me go, let me go to you, sir. We have said it, and it cannot be emphasized too emphatically that the provision is already there in our Constitution, and nobody can expunge it. In fact, nobody has actually removed it. It's there that we have three tiers of government in this country, but one of them has never been allowed to function. And that is why the Atonia invoked Section 162, Subsection 1, 4, 5, and 14, to ensure that this actually takes effect that nobody can contradict it. It is plain. But the problem we have is that you are politicizing everything. Yeah. You have the governor that appoints his stooges as caretaker committees and yeah. so on. And you can imagine there is nothing that is going on at all the councils. I've been all over the country in the last uh, one year. I've been no. all over the country. There is nothing that is going on in any local council. People just come. And this is simply because of not, the governors? Not, yes, simply right. because they don't have any fiscal uh, responsibility. Right. They don't have anything to, to do with okay. uh, within the council. They just go there while they wait the time. And we, will, we will come back to that to you. And of course, it's interesting how we go. We have to top a, a Temokun, a legal practitioner in China, virtually. Uh, Mr. Temokun, it's good to see you. Um, what do you Thank think you. about the. Uh, a debate as to whether the government of the day, federal government, should have gone uh, either the judicial route or the legislative route in seeking to enforce what he calls full autonomy for the local governments in Nigeria. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, the 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 major problem we have, you know, is not uh, the question of whether we should go through the Mr. judiciary. Temoku, uh, please check if you are muted and kindly unmute your Zoom so that we can hear you properly. Now, okay, Are you thank you. perfect. Yes, please go. On. Yes, it's not, it, it, the, the debate should not be whether we should go through the legislature or the judiciary. The Attorney General of the Federation has taken a very boost step, it's a welcome development. The, the constitution of Nigeria that has been rumored to guarantee local government autonomy is the major problem we have. If we look at this session 162, my co-presenter uh, uh, talked about, that section itself deprived local government of financial autonomy. If there are three tiers of government and the finances of the top tier of government is entrusted into the hands of the second tier of government, then that is a total deprivation of autonomy for that top tier. If you look at that section, that section empowers the state to open a state joint local government account in which the allocation made for the local government from the federation account and the state government shall be paid. At that same section, other section, section eight, now empowers the state to be the one 
to pay this money to the local government. On that section two, the House of Assembly of every state is also empowered to be the authority to also determine how this local government would disburse and enforce the spending of the allocation. The constitution is a major problem. The attorney general is so brilliant and smart, and it is a new direction in the history of this nation. But how, 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 enforceable, how enforceable would this be? Can the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Tope, can it be amended by the Supreme Court? The problem, the problem now is this. If the Supreme Court make pronouncement to the Fed to uphold the position of the federal government, that the money to be, you know, the law is there to be interpreted. The constitution itself, as a grand law, is also a law to be interpreted. All the provisions of the constitution must be interpreted by the judiciary. So, if the Supreme Court should uphold the position of the federal government, that the fund, the allocation made for the local government should be paid directly to them, that will necessitate, because that will be a law. That will not become the law. That will now automatically necessitate whatever amendment, whatever thing they need to do to think with this provision. But, that but, but, but talk, 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 I want to come back to our guest in the studio. I want to come back to our uh, guest in the studio. Mr. Femi Johnson, um, sir, if, if, if the, um, I mean, should it not be A before B? Is this not amounting to putting the cap before the horse? Because the doctor has said that the Supreme Court, and we all know that, mm. gives life to the Constitution. They interpret the Constitution. And you've all gone down the route of Section 162, mm. subsection uh, 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 five, which says that the amount uh, standing to the credit of local government councils in the Federation shall be allocated to the state for the benefit of their local government councils on, on such terms in such manner as may be prescribed by the National Assembly. Sub six says each state shall maintain a special account to be called a state joint local government account into which shall be paid all allocations to the local government councils of the state from the federation account and from the government of the state. Um, if anything is done outside this, mm. is that not an unconstitutional action? Yes, I'm not sure anything is going to be done outside of this. What the uh, distinguished attorney general is bothered about is the fact that, first of all, let us go by this rule first. Then later we will now begin to look at some of the amendments that needed to be put in place. And as a matter of fact, this should be noted very clearly. There has to be uh, checks and balance. Even when you directly send the money, to the even state. to the state, the state to the state government, and even if, if even if you send the money directly even to the local government, they are asked. To, the problem has been that there is no checks and there is no balance. And Montesquieu, as early as 1731, say, if there is no checks and there is no balance, life will be shortish and brutish, and it will be survival of what the fittest. And that's what we've been battling with. It is the survival of the political fittest in every state of the federation. And this is what we have been uh, bothered about. So there has to be, there has to be. So, so what, what is it that is, 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 is in the constitution right now that is not being done? If, if the idea is to ensure that the, the monies are not paid directly through the governors mm. to the local government areas, what is it being, that is being done that this suit is seeking to change? You have a local government yeah. that has been dissolved and you are still collecting the money. You call, where are you sending the money to? There is no local government. You are keeping it in the account for them? You are keeping it in, in which account? Nobody knows the account. And that's why we are saying that there has to be this fiscal responsibility. There has to be checks and there has to be balance. And we are saying that these three ties must be seen to be totally separated. If they are not separated, that is the kind of problem that we are still battling with up to today. You know, finally, you know, I'm a corporate governance personality. 
We talk so much about what we call fat. F A R T. F fairness. Accountability. Do we have it? Responsibility. We are, do, do we, no. uh, did you see it anywhere? Transparency. Did you see it anywhere? Up to today, Senate rep, up to today, their bosses, who is their bosses? Nigerians do not know what they are paying their staff. Up to this morning. All right. So, Habib um, Haruna, what do you see? Don't you see uh, you know, a constitutional logjam, as it were, if the Supreme Court rules or gives an order that goes against what the constitutional provisions are right now? But you see, we are, we are practicing a federal system of government, which presupposes that there, there, there must be written laws guiding the federal government, state government, and local government. In other words, these three types of government derive their powers from the constitution. You, know, you see, there is no perfect constitution anywhere. It is the players that determine its practicability. You know, if the players are not ready to make it work, mm. it will not work. So what, what the Attorney General is doing, to me, is in the right direction. Since the politician cannot get it right, <clears throat> and the, the legislature, it is incumbent on the, on the presidency, the executive, it's it's you know, sending his boy, yeah. sending his Attorney uh, General to go to well, the What I'm asking, Haruna, is can um, the, uh, looking at the provisions of Section 1, uh, 62 that you talked about. Yes. Can the funds for the Supreme uh, local government area, sorry, be channeled directly to the local government areas without going if, through or passing through you, the state governors? If you, go, if you go through that, the suit for everybody, yeah, it's very right. explicit yeah. that the funds should be channeled directly. But what does the Constitution the say? Is what I'm asking. Hmm? What does the Constitution say? Uh, the, 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 once the Supreme Court makes a pronouncement, it's binding on everybody. That, that, is, that is why I said that was a very wrong, right move. All right. Because, you see, are, the, the, the framers of the Constitution, eh, they emphasized that they are, they are, it's possible to have conflicts between the players and the levels of government. And that is why we have the Supreme Court, you know, that is supposed to adjudicate between these, two, between these parties. All right. Once the Supreme Court makes the pronouncement, I'm sure all the parties will follow and obey. All right. Uh, uh, let me come to you, uh, Tomoko, for your take. I mean, the, uh, the Attorney General is praying the Supreme Court to make an order uh, permitting the fund standing in the credits of local governments, like I guess I've said, to be channeled directly to these local governments from the Federation account. Um, are these, or is this in line with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Well, the, why I'm not uh, ruling out the, the necessity to tinker with this Constitution. This Constitution is a serious problem, but to us who are lawyers, and we are also uh, participants, you know, in civil society. We know the limitations. We know the kind of uh, harbinger we are made to pass through when we, when we come to uh, some, some situations. The, the, the constitution that, the, that created local government in Section 7 also stated clearly in that section that the, state, that the states should ensure the existence of the local governments. In Section 197.2, the country also created state electoral body that is meant to conduct elections into the local government. Section 162 now empowers the state to be the middleman between the local government and 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 the but 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 what but what but what the the, so the attorney general is asking the Supreme Court the is praying them the suit of the suit of the federal government yeah. can totally take care of this agitation. It cannot totally, because the Supreme Court is going to look at the Constitution. They don't want to deviate from the provision. Why they also know the atrocities of the states? They also the, the, the Supreme Court. But, but, but the is law, but the law is the, the law is not meant to be emotional. It's meant to look at yes, the facts I, on I, ground. Yes, I and the facts on ground see, say uh, that the uh, local uh, government fund should go through the state governments. You said it yourself, middleman. Yes, public policy is very essential too. It's the interpretation of law. And I am saying, sir, in this country, the Supreme Court is not immune. It's not blind to the goings on. And the last speaker, the last speaker, the last, the, the last speaker about the war, talks about checks and balances. And I don't think 
we can we should look at it from that angle. The local government itself, as a, as a government, has a legislative body. So if it is the state that is to share the local government, who shares the state in terms of their fund? Who shares the state? So, so, so we have a we have a state legislature. We have a state legislature. We have a state legislature. It is, it is not uh, it is not part of the principle of checks and balances for the states to be the monitor of the local government. That cannot be. When you entrust the foot of a junior brother permanent. But, but I, I'm asking you the brother. question. You said, talk about just a few minutes yes. ago, that yes. according to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999 has amended. The state's government are meant to be the middleman as far as the finances of the local government is concerned. Yes. You can, you can, but, there's no channeling but, directly but, but, in this constitution. Of, this is the grand norm of this country. It says any amount, it says any amount standing, uh, uh, the amount standing to the credit of local governments to the federal account shall also be allocated to the state for the benefit yes. of their local government in, on such terms as maybe prescribed by the national assembly. And I read it earlier, each state shall maintain a special account to be called state joint local government account. Yes. Anything outside this, is it not unconstitutional? You know, as we are talking here, we don't have the suit of the attorney general before us. I'm a lawyer. We don't have the suit of the attorney general before us. We don't have the summons before the Supreme Court here before us in this discussion. But I am saying, you know the attorney general, this current attorney general, which is exemplary leadership in law practice and all that, I know that this provision of Section 162 is not going to be interpreted, you know, without holistic interpretation of the entire constitution to guarantee the existence and the survival of the local government. If we have the suit of the attorney we have the process before us here and now for scrutiny, we can begin to look at it paragraph by paragraph. To know the basis and the foundation of the prayers well, well, the well, seeking from the from the Supreme Court. Well, we uh, we we have a copy of excerpts of uh, of, of the prayers, the grounds, you know, uh, uh, for the suit, and we know that the Supreme Court or the Attorney General is asking the Supreme Court to allow uh, 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 to make an order, um, um, you know, restraining the uh, the governors, their agents, previous from receiving spending or tampering with the funds released from the Federation account for the benefit of local governments uh, where no democratic elected local governments. So that's where to talk about um, category committees. But I want to come back to my guest in the studio. There is a, a method, you know, because indeed, maybe the Supreme Court may not go outside the Constitution to say, mm -hmm. oh, send the monies directly to the local okay. government. Okay, yes, but we have to go for a break. And when we come back, we'll continue, because I'll talk about one of the methods that these uh, governors use, which I'm sure you're all aware of. We'll be right back. Please stay with us. Welcome back. It's the Politics HQ with us in the studio. We have um, uh, Olufemi Mosaku Johnson, who's a founding registrar uh, and the chief executive officer of the Association of Corporate Governance Professionals of Nigeria. He's also chairman of HERO Advisory Group. Also in the studio, Habib Aruna, chief press secretary to the former governor of Lagos State, uh, Akio Miyamudi. He's also the publisher of um, The Pledge, an online newspaper. On uh, line, we have uh, joining us virtually via video link, uh, talk about Timo Koh, he's a lawyer. Gentlemen, once again, thank you for your time. I will come back to our guest in the studio. I'll start with you, okay. uh, Mr. Mosaku Johnson. Um, let's say the Supreme Court goes ahead to give an order, um, uh, um, you know, stopping the state governors from tampering with the funds of local governments, whether they are properly constituted or not properly constituted. Are there not methods, are there not ways that these local government, uh, these governors, can use to still circumvent the, 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 the order of the Supreme Court and control local government funds? I, I am a firm believer in the rule of law. Anywhere in the world, absence of the rule of law is invitation to chaos. An anarchy. An anarchy. So the moment Supreme, Supreme Court gives a decision on a particular issue. Every respectable, every well-meaning citizen of any country should abide by the rule of law. I guess the Attorney General is going to 
basically bring out some uh, lotus of laws be, be, be behind all that we have on the, on the papers. It's going to emphasize so much on the uh, separability of powers, of the fact that we have three arms. Why is it that these three arms are not allowed to function on its own? And as a matter of fact, like he wanted to allude to, you, you don't need to give my money to him. If, if you want the money, you want me to use the money for a specific purpose, you don't need to give it to him, for, me, for him to give it to me. The only thing you need to put down is measure of checks, is the measure of balance to see that I do not abuse that money. But right. Because there is tendency. In, immediately I saw this, right. Atongera went to court. I was very happy. Mm -hmm. But my concern is abuse. Now you are not talking about the fact that, okay, can governor circumvent and so on. I expect every governor to be a good citizen of Nigeria. To say, now this is what the Supreme Court has said, I remove my hand. That is what I expect. Oh, all right. From every government. But, 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 I think, I think, yes. Before you ask your question, yes. Yes. there's only that I need to mention. Mm. He is concerned about, he has, he has made his reservation mm. on the fact that the council chairman mm. may abuse those powers. You know, but there's also a provision in the constitution that says that the state of assemblies mm. should control, you know, should, should monitor the way this for this, this for the spent. In, in other words, when, when I was in government with my Oga, there are many times that the state assembly in Lagos invited the government chairman, come and tell us how the money they gave you has been spent. You know? So, 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 that, so that, that, therefore, are yeah. we not putting the cart before the horse? Yeah. To say, oh, let's just go directly via the instrumentality of the Supreme Court to enforce or to enforce a full autonomy uh, for local government councils. Uh, within the frames or confines of the Constitution, mm. without looking at the, the root cause or the key, what I consider the key, gentlemen, mm. to this is the strengthening and the independence of state houses of assembly. Mm. You know, because state houses of assembly are the ones who can hold the governor to account, are the ones who can impeach the governor, are the ones mm. who can probe the governor, are the ones who can spend his hand. And I, I don't know what you guys say, if the state house of assembly is still in the pocket of the governor, he will get away with circumventing whatever the Supreme Court says. See, that is one of the problems we have. Yes, we agree that democracy is a journey. Mm. It's not a destination. In, in advanced democracies, they've been able to advance to a level that the executive cannot control the legislature arbitrarily. But in Nigeria, in the past 25 years, we've been mm. unlucky. You know, all eyes are on the presidency. But the governors are the, the key problems we have in this democratic process. In other words, the governors are too powerful. The government cannot be controlled by the Abba Abuja, the federal government, and they can't be controlled by the state assemblies because they have the assemblies in their pocket. In, during the First and Second Republic, we have the legislature controlled by the opposition parties. But since the advent of this, of this democratic process, this dispensation, mm -hmm. we have the same party controlling the executive the same parallel to controlling the legislature. So what you have is then the pocket of the governors. And there will be lack of governance, lack of good governance. And you see, the upshot of this issue we have on the better is that if there is no accountability by the council chairman, there can be good governance. OK. All right. Awesome. Interesting. I want to go to Top Tope Temoko uh, for his take on, on, on whether this will. Tope, are you there with us? Um, whatever, yes, whichever way the Supreme Court is, let's just say, the Supreme Court enforces and uh, gives an order, um, you know, directing the state governments not to tamper with the funds of local governments. Uh, is there no way, um, you know, this, this will be circumvented by the government? Because I know a state where the, 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 the local government chairman, they wrote and they said, uh, you know, we hereby relinquish our, our right. We want you to control the money for us. And they signed and they gave it to the governor. Yes, that is illegal. That is illegal. It is the it is the political conspiracy, you know, that has been forced on the local government cronies uh, by the states that will give that whoever leads to that kind of uh, agreement, whereby the state uh, the local government will say that they relinquish their their powers, their entitlement to the state. 
And when the constitution of 1999 was made, that constitution never envisaged a situation whereby there will not be democratically elected local government. The constitution never envisaged a, a, a classroom arrangement of a headmaster or a class teacher appointing a captain for students, which is what the local government in Nigeria has been turned to now. So if the country never said that, and today now, all of the states of the country, I don't think there are more than two or three states where there are, where there are democratically elected local government structure. If all the country have said is no longer there, I'm very sure the suit of the attorney general, because I am talking from my own participation as a lawyer. All the prayers taking the Supreme Court might not be automatically granted by the Supreme Court. But the suit of the Attorney General, apart from the fact that it has merit, talking about the fact that a state government cannot just dissolve local government structure, hmm. which is against the Constitution, and asking for a consequential order that once the court says you cannot dissolve, you cannot put, you cannot put the place category committee automatically, there must be autonomy. And their autonomy should also include financial autonomy. The structure in place in all the states today, they are not the local government envisaged by the constitution. And the money for the local government envisaged by the constitution is being taken by the state. So it is not a matter of state governors or state government circumventing that or that. It is not possible. Okay. All the structures of local government in the country today, they are the creations of governors, not even state government. They are just coronation of cronies. Mm -hmm. And that is why you see situation whereby local government, apart from the fact that they are so powerless, they are not even existing. If you get the local government etc. of today, they are shadows of what they used to be. All right. Lawyer Temoku, I want to ask you, I want to ask you a follow-up question. Yes. This is the duty of the local government. Yeah. If the law is there to empower them mm -hmm. to be legally in existence, they no, no local government will take some of these shenanigans. Okay. From the state. L L L L so, in other words, you're saying because the uh, the cronies of the governors are the ones appointed local government chairman, they are yes. weak. And and this suit, looking at the other aspect of which we are coming to next, uh, talking about um, making sure that their sanctity, their independence is protected, and you don't have the governor, you know, superintendent over those elections, uh, that that will strengthen them and ensure that um, they can they can um, uh, you know uh, stand for their rights. But Latif Fagbemi, he was. Um, it was a lawyer who filed a suit to stop one of the moves under the Buhari administration. Um, uh, you know, a move by the uh, a suit to stop the Nigeria Financial Intelligence Unit uh, from abolishing the joint accounts into which the various state governors were, um, you know, uh, taking or you know planting their fingers into take local government funds. Now that same Latif Abimi is the one going to court now. Um, isn't this awkward? As far as you're concerned, you're a lawyer. Tell us. No, no. No, the, the Latif fact when we go to court now, it's not the Latif fact we need that, that fight that. He was a lawyer, he was a lawyer. A lawyer as a private practitioner is a businessman. He was a lawyer. Today now, today now, he's a public office holder. The office of the Attorney General, which is created to serve the people, to ensure there's legality and constitutionality in the governance of the country, is, 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 is the, that is the office that fight this action. It's the spirit of patriotism in that office that fight this action. So the Latif Bagbemi of a private practitioner who is just trying to disburse his genius in legal practice to ensure that he expands the frontiers of his practice and, and his own personal economy. That was the Latif Bagbemi of then. The Latif Bagbemi of today is not the Latif Bagbemi that fight that action. The spirit of patriotism in the office of the Attorney General is, is, is what he's speaking now. And that is why once there is property, once we have men that appreciate probity in offices, your person, before you assume that position, must be different. Your person, when you were outside public office, must be different. Your reasoning, your thinking, your philosophy, must be the philosophy of patriotism, the philosophy of the state. And that is why there is no contradiction. Right. And there is no problem of personality class that it is the same person who was involved in that case. That is now the occupier of that. Okay. All right. Uh, talk about Tabuko. Thank you very much. Let's move it on to. It is the office that has yeah. this action. All right. Let's go to back to. Let's go to our favorite uh, Mosako Johnson. Yes. Um, this um, um, uh, unilateral dissolution mm. of democratically elected local government 
uh, uh, chairman and councils in Nigeria is, is quite strange. Mm -hmm. But it's been happening. And one of the um, prayers is, the, you know, Attorney General is seeking or asking mm -hmm. the court to order um, issue an order prohibiting mm. uh, the state governments from embarking on unilateral mm -hmm. arbitrary and unlawful dissolution. What, what are your thoughts on that? Yes, I think it's very, very straightforward. It that dictates the, uh, it that pays the piper dictates the tune. He's the one that puts them there. He can dissolve them at any time. And that is why I'm saying that there is dangerous danger. If there is no checks and there is no balance, now come to think of it, it is the state governor that organizes election into local government. In other countries, there is nowhere, there is nowhere you can see that. In every other country, you have independent electoral. Ah, but we have the state independent electoral commission. No, it is, it is, it is an. Why is it that? Uh, states also do not actually uh, allow the state independent electoral commission to organize the election for the governors. So are you saying that, are you, so you support the move for INEC mm, to, I'm, to... Yes, I'm saying, I'm saying this straightforward, and I'm not suggesting it. I'm laying it down as a corporate governance person that it is the INEC... If you call it INEC, in South Africa, they call it uh, uh, Independent Electoral Commission. Here, we call it Independent National Electoral Commission and every other country. It is the INEC of that country, whatever that you call them, that organizes every election. Now, look at another charge. Look at another disaster. In Nigeria, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria appoints INEC chairman. Tell me another cancer. All right, that we, is we, more cancerous than I'm that. I'm going to build on what you said to ask Habib Aruna. If INEC organizes local government elections, are we not therefore destroying the federal fabric of Nigeria? Because now we have the federal government taking all, uh, over everything. No, 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 no. no, no. Well, I'm going to come back to that when we come back from that commercial break. For those of you who are watching, please stay with us. Welcome back. Let's go straight to um, uh, uh, Haruna, uh, Habib Haruna. I was asking you a question. We went on the break. Yeah. You're both advocating for INEC to be the one to organize local government elections. Isn't that whittling down the federal nature of Nigeria? Because as a federation, the state should be allowed to um, uh, uh, um, run their own affairs. That, some could argue, is taking more of the powers of the state and handing it over to the federal government. Haruna. In most countries, in most adverse countries, elections is not national, it's a national affair. It's a local it's a local affair. Not even state affairs. But you are saying it should become a no, national no, no, affair. No, 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 let me let me I'm, I'm, I'm building my point. Okay. It's, it's, it's not a national something. And we this is a federation. You know, but it is very clear that just a few weeks ago, after the council elections in your state, we had the PDP. Supposedly, one or the local no, no government. And they came out and said, We are just deceiving ourselves that INEC can conduct a better council election. But, we have, we, but, but is has, 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 has INEC you know been why? able to. You know what is very clear. Hold on, hold on. Hmm? Has INEC covered itself in glory for, for even elections to that. Large extent. To, to, to a large extent. But, but, uh, but maybe to if we do a poll, I don't know see, whether Nigerians see, will agree. Very, very critical. Yes. Very, very critical is that. You see? Because, because most, people, most, if you look at most of the if, election, you know, uh, election um, um, analysis done by most of the NGOs, they, they always, always come to out a, to a large with extent, to a large failure extent, by INEC, failure by INEC, to a large, late arrival of materials, later. To a large extent, sir, the outcome of elections in Nigeria has been a, a reflection, to a large extent, of what people want. You see what I'm saying? So you're saying that elections in Nigeria are truly democratic? Absolutely, to a large extent. Okay. You see, why, why, it, it, why, it's arguable. Why looking, the looking, are looking, looking. So you're saying that election, because when we look at the, the results from the election monitoring groups and the NGOs, you know, they talk about widespread electoral malpractice. They but, talk about failure by INEC. There is no any, Late arrival of no materials, rigging. I'm a, I'm a political reporter. Are we, except you're in a different I'm a, country. I'm a, I'm a political reporter. No, anywhere in the world. And I cover elections all over the world. In November, I'll be in the U.S. to cover these election, U.S. elections. No, anywhere in the world, you see 100%. That the outcome is just 100%. I 
And what I'm let, 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 but even Yara Dua, Yara Dua came out to say that the elections are but has it gotten better? That, 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 yes, to some extent. So, has it gotten better? With the way to a large extent. Please, the point I'm making is that to a large extent, sir. Election, sir, to, to a large extent and, and the elections. Yes, sir, to a large extent, has Absolutely. it gotten better? From the days of our child, child I, I, I'm sure you agree with that. Mm. I make yes. a how, how has it got state, to, as how, has it got, how, has, how have elections state in Nigeria? I make. Yes, gotten to a large extent better since yes. the days of EU. See, let me make this point very, very important. You see, if elections are not free and fair mm. at the local level, if people at the local level are not allowed to elect who they want, there cannot be good governance, there cannot be accountability. What we see now is that the governor appoint people they appoint. They are accountable to the governors, not to the people. But are we not, are we not fixing the problem we have? a problem by creating another problem? Well, let me go to Tope, uh, who is online for, uh, with us uh, via Zoom. Tope, how, is this, does this not amount to fixing one problem by creating another problem? Uh, by taking away the powers of the states and handing them to the powers of the federal government, making it more. When Nigerians are asking for state police. No, 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 it is not. The... the, the uh... The issue of states' independent electoral commission, let me deal with that one, uh, first and foremost. It is, not, it, is not, it is not proper, just like the issue of finances, it is not proper to entrust the fate of the survivor of the local government as the third tier of government created by the constitution of the of the state. Who will continue to say that? It is not... The, the local governments are no property of the state government. But we're asking for state police. We're asking for state police. We're asking for true federalism. We're asking for true federalism. Nigerians are asking for true federalism. Nigerians are asking for state policing. Nigerians are asking for restructuring. But you are all saying take the powers, the few powers of the states and hand them back to the federal government. Can I explain it? Can I explain it? No, no. Let there be local government electoral commission. Yeah. Yeah. Let there be local government electoral commission. Right. Run by who? I by the, of by the federal Nazi. government. Let there be local government electoral commission that will conduct elections into the local government. Run by who? I Let there be. Mm. Okay. Research. Let, uh, let me come back to you a bit. Yes, what, what I'm saying... Because you, you said, you said INEC should conduct yes, what I'm saying is this. Local government elections. In a normal, in a sane in environment, you don't have something like INEC and the chairman of INEC appointed by the sitting president. I'm saying that there will be a, a different bodies like the judiciary and the, uh, the, the, National the, Assembly. the National Assembly to appoint whoever that's going to be the chairman of the electoral council or commission. And this body will be responsible. Over, uh, sorry, sir. Whole, this body will be responsible for yes. organizing all the local government. All the, all the, all the elections. Seven hundred seventy-four. Yes, absolutely. Is that a truly federal country? Yes, that is. That is. Basically, That's like saying we should I'm, have state policing. No, you are. This is not we a federal. Excuse me. Do you know the problem you are putting on this table now? Is the fact that you think that it is the federal government that you appoint INEC? I'm saying that INEC is independent. Yeah. Independent. And they will conduct every election from local to state and to federal. They are independent. As, they are, not, are you talking about right. are you talking a future possibility or yeah. INEC as it is the now? The same way judiciary is supposed to be separated from the executive and the uh, uh, judiciary so, and the legislative, yeah. is the same way that INEC, even, even police, even office of attorney general, so, so, so are you talking about separated. what ought to be, not what is? Yes, what yes. ought to be. But, 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 okay, so, so now, will that ought, will it come to pass? Is what it, I would say, certainly, as it starts, it There is a need for education, because we are not there as yet. And that's why I started by saying that there is no half pregnancy. It is either you are pregnant or you are not. You are not. If you don't want democracy, Say you don't want, if you want democracy, there has to be everything that but, connects but, but, to but, but, democracy. But, but, sir, and that's why I said, I said, this is probably trying to put the cap before the horse. Because we're trying to fix one problem and in that process create another problem. By, 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 by taking powers from the local people, from the state. So what, what powers do the state have? And now placing the, 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 the few powers and adding to more powers at the federal government. No, 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 no. I, 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 I want to ask you, sir. I want to ask you. I want to ask you. Um, let's look at a state like Lagos State, uh, Mr. Habibaruna. How 
are the local government funds shared in this within Lagos State? Because we have local government areas, we have LCDs, local council, different areas. Obasanjo for Tinubu, Tinubu mm. for the water mm, yes. and he went ahead. And Obasanjo withheld the allocations to Lagos State. Mm. But as it stands, how do the LCDs get their money? Lagos is quite it's unique. Unique, both in nature and character. Maybe because of the financial mm -hmm. viability. Mm -hmm. of the so state. how do LCAs get them? How mm -hmm. do you get funded? It's directly from the state. Okay. And where do they get the money from? No, no, for, for, the federal government is sending to the state. The state is voted for the to, 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 to No, the, the LCDs government. are not and, part of national and, and in that process, mm -hmm. the assembly eh, invite the chairman of councils to come and account how, 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 do the, yes. how do the LCDs in Lagos State get their funding? From the state government. How, okay, do they... Do, the federal central to the, to the state, state yes. to local government. So, so if, if the state does not, the federal does not send for LCDs? Yeah. And the not state, the LCDA. The federal government recognizes 20... The local government. So, how, so you say the state government takes that money sent for 20 and gives some to the LCDs? Is, no, they, 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 they share We it. have to go. Yeah. We have to go. They we have to share it. We have to go. Anyway, 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 the anyway. All right. So that, that will cease to be. Yeah. Then. But some will say that the president, on who, who is going to court now, was the one who started it in the first place. So why is it going to court? But we'll have time to talk about this some other, other day. We, we have to go. Thank you Major very much. Dynamic. Habib Aruna, thank you very much. Tope Temoku and Alufemi uh, Mosaku. Mosako Johnson, thank, thank you very so much for your time. Thanks for That's the size us. of our package right here on Politics HQ. You see you tomorrow. Good night.